Hola Cafeños, we are Cafe Con Leche Travels. My name is Travis. My name is David. Welcome back to part two of Neighborhood Tours in Merida. Today we're gonna show you guys the area of Las Americas and our home Tamazon Norte. So let's go. We still have our rental car and there is still construction happening outside, so it never stops. If you joined us for our last neighborhood tour, you know that we were in our rental car and we still have the rental car. <laughs> so we're still touring. We're just making good use out of this situation. Sure are. If you are looking for a rental car in Merida, we will link the company we use below. They were actually great. Yeah, we've used a couple, but this one is a different one we've used. It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. We have never been to Las Americas, but it's in the northwest corner of Merida. Well, kind of just outside of the city limits of Merida. Right. It's more like a suburb than part of the city, but we've heard it is popular with foreigners because of all the new construction there. Las Americas is 10 minutes from us in Temazon Norte and it is a very, it's a very quick trip to Progresso. This is like the definition of a planned community. Yes, it reminds me of neighborhoods that you would see in the States where every house looks like the same replica of itself. <laughs> With like little tweaks, like, oh, you put the window there, we put the window here. Mm -hmm. There's like little parks every now and again, little green spots, so that's nice to see. It is 102 degrees outside, and people are building more houses right now, which I can't imagine working outside right now. Yeah, it kind of reminds me maybe like in the, what was it, the 60s when planned communities were starting, but they were like out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That's what this feels like. Yeah, I am keep playing the theme song for weeds in my head. You know what? <laughs> Little boxes. Yeah. Kind of get copyrighted, so we're not going to sing that. So as you can see, Las Americas is broken up into two parts within the neighborhood. Las Americas 1 and Las Americas 2. And as you can also see, they look very, very similar. A lot of white, a lot of boxes, and a lot of houses. We wonder if what would have happened if we had been shown this neighborhood when we first moved to Merida because we saw listings for stuff over here, but we never actually explored it. No, I have a feeling we would have gotten sucked into the... It's nice. The niceness and the modernness of it, which I'm not taking anything away from that because it is very nice and it is very modern and it's, I mean... Listen, if this is what you're looking for, then they've got plenty, plenty. of <laughs> this. It just goes on and on and on. We're driving over to the second part. And it looks a lot like the first part, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but no, this is like, if you are a digital nomad who is working remotely, obviously you'd be working remotely if you're in Mexico, and you wanted like a big, nice new place, this would fit the bill. Yeah. I feel like you really need a car if you're yeah, here. Yeah, definitely need a car. But, you know, there is Uber and Didi, so we live without a car. We're not close to city center either. If you have lived in Las Americas or have looked at places in Las Americas, let us know what your experience has been in the comments. We did hear just before we came in 2020, there was a big storm and a lot of flooding kind of all over the city, but certain parts got it worse than others. And we did hear that Las Americas got it pretty bad. So did parts of Centro, so did I'm sure parts of Temazon Norte, but we that is one thing that kind of, I think that really did stop us from coming out here and looking. Yeah. Now we're gonna head over to, there is a shopping center when you first enter Las Americas that has a grocery store and some other stores. So let's go check that out. We 
one thing we did notice in this community is that there are bike lanes everywhere so unlike us we can't really bike to any of the places that we would like to go to uh, but here because everything's within the both Las Americas 1 and 2 you can bike literally everywhere you, you want to go as long as you don't mind biking in 102 degree heat on days <laughs> like today but like after it cools off and by cools off I mean like 90 no I mean it's definitely like an option that is cool like you can you know have a little life out here and be right by the beach too yeah okay Las Americas I see you All right, Las Americas, we are officially impressed. There is way more retail, restaurants, cafes, shopping than I thought knew. Yeah, I mean, it really is a, in like its own yeah. community with everything you need right here. We've seen vets, we've seen car shops, we've obviously seen tacos and pizza places. Places to get homemade fresh tortillas. Yeah, juice shops, painters, like it's like this. Wow. Did not, I did not know what I expected, but didn't expect this. So again, we said this before, but people, people watching that have not seen Mexico and thought that it was one thing it's not what you think it is. It is so much more. We are now going to take you to our neck of the woods, which is Tamazon Norte. Now we are in Temazon Norte. We walked around Temazon Norte in another video that we will link somewhere, but today we're gonna drive around. And the year and a half that we've been here, there has been an explosion of construction. There are new things popping up every day, it seems like. And what felt kind of barren now is, is all these new privadas and homes all over the place. Yeah, what's different than Las Americas from what we've seen is Temazon Norte seems to be a lot of privadas. Mm -hmm. And privadas are like little gated communities that are like little clusters of anywhere from like 30 to 100 homes. Normally around like a clubhouse, a pool, different amenities. But in our neighborhood alone, and we live in a privada, there's been like five new ones mm -hmm. popping up. So it feels like Las Americas in a like smaller scale. Yeah, like, just like little, tons of Las Americas everywhere. Yeah. There's also, we will take you over to La Isla Mall in Temazon Norte, which is humongous. And we explored that in our mall video from like a year ago that we will link as well, but they have a hot air balloon and a whole lake in the back. They used to have water shows before COVID. They don't have those currently, but maybe one day they will start them again. They also have the original Temazon Centro, which is really kind of cool that that has still been kept as part of the town. All right, so let's take a spin around.
that was the neighborhoods of Las Americas and Amazon Norte. As you can see, a lot is being done out here in Merida. A lot. And in the past year and a half, a lot has changed. Yes. Obviously, there is much more to show in each neighborhood. It was 100 degrees out, so we didn't want to really get out of the car <laughs> too much today. But hope you found that helpful to give you a better idea of lay of the land, what housing looks like, and kind of where everything's situated. So if you have any experience with Temazon Norte or Las Americas, let us know in the comments. We come out with new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that notification bell so that our videos can get out to like-minded people just like you. All right, here comes our tagline. Hasta luego. We'll see you next time.